channel today I'm finally back with a DIY video I've missed doing DIYs for you guys so for today's video I'll be showing you guys some home decor and home organization DIYs I found some inspiration from Target and from Pinterest so if you guys do end up liking this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you guys are not subscribed yet make sure and go ahead and press that subscribe button to get more videos from me and other than that let's just go ahead and get right into the video all right so moving on to this first pillow DIY all you need for this DIY is a pillow I got mine from Target and then you also need a pillowcase. I'm doing this a little bit um, the harder way but you'll see in the video. Um, and then you also need some paint brushes and some gold metallic fabric paint. If you don't have fabric paint you can mix textile medium with acrylic paint and that turns it into fabric paint. And then for me I have a um, paper cutter so I cut it out a stencil but you can go ahead and freehand. So first I'm just taking my stencil and I actually cut this on um, sticker paper so uh, I can go ahead and stick it on but you really don't have to do that. You can just um, cut it using uh, stock paper or anything like that but for me since I have sticker paper it's easier. So I'm just peeling the back of it and just placing it where I want it to be. And then next I'm just going to put in the negative parts of the um, letter so you don't forget to do that part. Um, so for like D's and the O's and stuff like that. Next you simply just want to go ahead and stipple on your gold metallic paint and it's a very very simple um, this is a fairly easy <laughs> DIY to do next you just want to let the paint dry completely which takes about 30 minutes or so and then once that's done you can go ahead and peel off the sticker paper if that's what you use like I did um, and then again just go ahead and peel it off and peel off those negative parts in the like O's and anything like that and then once that's done we're gonna go ahead and move on to the pillow so like I stated earlier I did this kind of the harder way I just got a pillow because I wanted the cushion on the inside and I wanted to be able to remove that um, pillow cover so here I'm just taking out half of the cushion so that I can go ahead and cut the pillowcase down to size to match the cover here if that makes sense and then I just put the cushion back in and just use a hot glue gun to close that one end that I cut up and then what I, once that is done you have your pillow that you can go ahead and insert into your already painted pillowcase and you're done with this DIY Alright, so for this next DIY, I'll be showing you guys how to grow your own crystals and I think this is such a cool idea. So what you need for this is borax. You can get this from any store. I got it from Target. I believe they have it at Walmart and all these other stores. You also need some measuring cups and then in any glass container to grow your crystals in. I'm using some mason jars. And then I'm using liquid gold for this. You can use regular metallic gold paints. You also need some white pipe cleaners. Um, any kind of yarn, I'm just using these white string and then a paintbrush and then lastly just food coloring, gel or liquid, anything will work. Alright, so to start off, all you want to do is take your white pipe cleaners and just start molding it into the shape that you want. So here, I'm just twisting it into a flat circle. One thing to remember is to have as little space between the pipe cleaners as possible. This will make your crystal a lot prettier and look like a real crystal. So as you can see, I just took two pipe cleaners and connected that. And so here, I'm making a ball and this ball did have a lot of space in the center. That's why the crystal turned out a little bit weird. So just definitely keep that in mind and then moving on all you want to do is take your piece of yarn or string or anything like that and loop that through your pipe cleaner and then just put that to the side and we'll work on that later. So now we're going to go into the mixture. You want to take 9 tablespoons of the borax with 3 hot boiling cups of water. The water must be boiling for this to work. So make sure that the water is boiled and then once the water has been boiled you go ahead and take your food coloring and just mix that into the water and again you can use whatever color you want. One another tip is to make sure that the food coloring is very 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 dark in order for the um, crystal to turn out. So here I'm just mixing the hot boiling water with the borax and I'm just going to mix that until the borax has kind of um, you know kind of evaporated with the water here so just make sure that's mixed very very well. 
Next, all you want to do is take that pipe cleaner and just dip it into the liquid. You want to make sure that the pipe cleaner is not touching the bottom of the bowl. Then take a pencil or anything and wrap the string around that to make sure that the pipe cleaner um, stays afloat and doesn't touch the bottom. Once that's done, all you want to do is take a cloth or anything and cover up the top. You want to let that wait in, in the water for, I want to say, five hours. I let it stay overnight. Once that's done, all you have to do is take out that pipe cleaner. As you can see, you have a beautiful crystal. Just go ahead and cut off that string and then let it dry. So here, I'm just taking the crystal and just tapping it onto tissue paper. And I'm just going to let that dry. So here you have a beautiful piece of crystal and I just love the way it turned out. So next, I'm just going to take my liquid gold and just start painting the sides and the bottom. This part is totally optional, but I just thought it was really pretty. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and dab it to the bottom and um, the sides a little bit. And once that's done, you're done with this DIY. So for this last DIY, I totally made this up and I love the way that it turned out. We're going to go ahead and make this really pretty tray. So all you need is some paint and I actually decided just to use some gold metallic paint instead of the ones I'm showing here. You also need a tray. I got this one from Michaels for less than 6 bucks, especially if you use their coupon. You'll need scissor, um, double sided tape, a pencil, brush, a ruler, a paper cutter, and then any kind of wrapping paper or stock paper, anything really pretty to put on the inside. So here I'm just going to go ahead and start to measure the inside of the tray so that I can go ahead and cut out the piece to put inside. So, you know, pretty simple. Go ahead and measure and just, you know, do what you got to do. All right, and then here I'm just going ahead and just marking my measurements that I did earlier so that I can go ahead and cut my wrapping paper. This is a pretty old wrapping paper, that's why it looks a little beat up, but it still turned out really nice. So I'm just using my paper cutter. If you guys don't have a paper cutter, go ahead and just use a pair of scissors. Um, this just makes it easy for me, so that's just what I did here. And then I'm taking my double-sided tape, the roller, and just rolling on tape at the bottom. You can go ahead and use Mod Podge or glue or anything like that. I just don't really like Mod Podge because it makes it a little bit... Uh, like bubbly like there's bubbles in it that's why I like double sided tape so here I'm just putting it all over the tray and then once that's done just go ahead and take that wrapping paper and then simply insert it and just press firmly and just make sure that the sides are not you know like folded up or anything like that Lastly, just go ahead and paint the tray. I actually sh should have painted it before putting in the wrapper paper, but I got too excited. But either way, it works out, and I just love the way that turns out. Once you're done painting, let it dry completely, and then you are done with your very decorative, really pretty tray. Alright, so that's it for my video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Also, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and press that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!